Hey there, PsychoCamp here, and today we're going to do a quick video on a power booster. Uh, what you see here is an ICOM 718. It is turned over on its side, so I'm holding the camera. I apologize for the jittery camera. Uh, and basically, uh, I went out to a CUSO party this past fall, and I was using this radio with a battery, and I was surprised that I wasn't getting the power I expected. I didn't know if I was having an antenna problem or what. And I got it back to this shop, and I started looking around at it, and I uh, come to find out that the ICOM 718 appears to be very sensitive to the power voltage that's being uh, fed, and really wants to see that full 13.8 volts. So what I've done is I've set up a little a little comparison test here uh, to show you what's going on. So right here we have the uh, the uh, device set for our a high RF power, which in this case that's 99 right 100 watts. So we're gonna we're gonna do that, and we're gonna be driving it just for the consistency with the tune function of uh, WSJTX and we'll be doing that through this little signal link adapter which is going to the 13 pin accessory jack in the back of the radio which is why you don't see a microphone installed. We'll be running this to be legal we'll be running this into a uh, 300 watt capable uh, dummy load. It's not a perfect dummy load. It does have a little bit of SWR, but it's not bad. And we'll be using this MFJ894 cross needle meter to show you what's going on. So let's take a look at what happens when we have this radio connected to a battery and that battery is it's fully charged so let's take a quick look down here see we got this uh and it's big it's a big the biggest uh deep cycle marine battery that walmart sells it's about a hundred bucks and we're going we're going directly into it and it is it is fully charged so let's take a look at what happens when we actually transmit the tuning signal through the radio uh, with this power and there you go I mean we're not even making 50 watts we're a little about you know 46 or so and uh, this this uh, dummy load is only rated for a couple of minutes at this at this uh, at 100 watts but you can see that, that I mean that's pretty poor You're really not a, not not very happy here so what I did was I went out, I believe it, it was either Amazon or eBay, and I'll, I'll fix it in the description. I went out and bought one of these things, and this is a DC to DC converter. This one is capable of 345 watts, which is more than enough to run my 100 dot radio, 100 watt radio. It'll take, it says 12 volt in, but it's really, it'll go down to like 10 or 9 and it'll give you a consistent 13.8 up to 25 amps, which is, like I said, more than enough to run this radio. So I've I've taken the connectors and you know I've fitted it with power poles, and um, let's just hook it up and uh, see what happens. So I'm just gonna off to the side here. I'm gonna splice this in. The beauty of doing it with the double power poles is that I, I get to uh, splice the whole thing in very easily. So here we go. So we want the DC input coming from the battery and we want the output going to the radio. And here you can see you know it's all it's all lit up. Here are the power poles. Here's the, the output you can see here the here are the fuses, the fuses for the uh, radio cable and all that. So let's let's make exactly the same test with this booster in line, and we'll press the tune button, and whoa ho ho! Look at that. We're right up at a hundred watts, which is where we expected to be. 
So for those of you that are doing portable deployments and you may be on battery power and you may need, you know, if you're using equipment that is very sensitive to input voltage, uh, this is a pretty cute little device. It only costs, this thing only costs about 30 bucks. Uh, you know, roughly 30, 35, I think, with shipping. And, uh, in fact, I liked it so much, you noticed a U2 on there. I actually bought two of them, because uh, one is none and two is one, if you guys from the firearms uh, side of the house understand. So, anyway, I thought I'd show you this. Uh, works works pretty well. Pretty, pretty impressed with it. I have run it making QSOs. I have not gotten very many complaints about any uh, artifacts on my signal. This is a switching power supply, boost power supply, obviously. So that is one of the things you might be concerned with. But uh, I've had excellent luck with it, and it didn't cost that much. Uh, check out the, uh, the, uh, you know, the details of the video, and I'll put a link in there to where I got it. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. Have a great afternoon.